Hey, Emily. Hi, Peter. How are you? We're here at the Estuary, uh, a new space in Fairhaven, uh, Bicentennial Hall. Is that 25 what it's Cedar Avenue, formerly Historic Fisk Chapel. We have an art show on Friday night called the Estuary. We're really excited about Yeah, so everybody's going to come out on Friday. It's going to be this whole weekend. Friday, April 19th, 2024. 5 to 8 p.m. Good. We're going to have music. We're going to have spoken word performance. We're going to have a, a string quartet of local ladies. 20 plus artists, including our very own John Peters, who's behind the camera. Uh, we're going to have Couple some booze. Drinks. Can you say that? Yeah, booze, food. Lots Every of modern art. Good. Lots of history. Everyone in the community should come out. Tell me a little bit about the idea of the estuary. So the idea came to me um, I like to say from the ether in a meditative state. It was um, that's deep. A prompt that was unexpected when I heard you need to do an art show at the old church by the Acme, and I thought that's wildly specific. So I brought this idea to my cousin who lives in town, and it just snowballed from there very quickly, very easily. And here we are. We've got more than 20 artists showing and this big crowd expected, and we're really, really excited. So as a viewer, I've been following you on Instagram, you've done a great job of profiling the artists. I mean, the, the writing, Peggy Nicolosi's there, and Anthony was, was here, mm -hmm. um, Elise uh, is here. All of you worked on this project, yeah. really well done, um, you know, looking at the work you've put into it. So it's gonna be a phen phenomenal show. This is an amazing building. Many people in our community have driven past and didn't even know exists. We're gonna check out inside, but from the outside you'll see it's dilapidated and it deserves to be preserved and restored and used for everyone in the community. It's a community space. We're this rolling. This is our town okay. historian, Pat Drummond. She can tell you all about this beautiful gem of a building. And I just ran over in my PJ so I could see what's going on. Well, I'm gonna get real close to you so that you can be here heard on the mic. No, but Pat, just quickly, what is your affiliation with this building? Oh, forever and ever, since I moved here. I moved here in, in 85 and I'd never even heard of this building before I moved here. And then I got into it, I got so into it, I haven't stopped. There we go. So, and uh, they're related, and so it continues here. So thank you, Pat, for introducing lucky? us thank to this. Here we go. Let's this. check out inside. I cut you off, that That's was okay. rude. Anyway. Uh, we're gonna go inside and check this yeah. out. Actually, thank before you, we Pat. do that, let's check the outside of the building and then we'll go inside quickly. Yeah, the outside. Mm -hmm. It needs work, Pat. At least you have but a that's why we're here. here. Here we go. We're on the south side of the building now. Beautiful day, by the way. Um, this building was built in 1882. Carpenter Gothic style, original clapboard, uh, clapboard uh, siding, uh, cedar roof, amazing stained glass windows. I'm sure, there's more. The rosette window. Which was also part of your logo. Is that right? That's correct. Uh -huh. Well spotted. Everybody Thank knows. You. Now it makes sense what the estuary logo was. Yeah. Um, it was that original uh, stained glass window in the front. Uh, 1976, it was moved here. Come hence, around the corner on Fisk Street. Cool. It's, everybody knows Fisk Park, where the kids play baseball here in Fairhaven. Mm -hmm. 1776, that's Bicentennial Hall. Do the math. Um, <laughs> let's check out the inside. Let's go inside. All right. Here we go. So cool, right? Lots of echo potentially inside, yeah. but first thing I see when you walk in is, I thought that was tape. That's the reflection from the stained glass on the floors. That's amazing. Um, so the pews, which aren't here, will be refurbished. They're the originals. The original pews that were hand carved by one of Fairhaven's original artists, Nathan J. Williams, in 1882. We have one over here on display. Um, and we're gonna use them for display. We're gonna have eight of them up here to hold some of the art and showcase some of the art. We're gonna just transform this whole space with modern art. It's gonna look beautiful. This space is here for the community to enjoy. We just had a backhoe go past us in the road. Uh, this is a community space. So you mentioned there was a wedding here last year. I mean, who knew? I suppose some people, maybe Pat Drummond knew. Yeah. But this is a public space and deserves to be Preserved. So we're calling for a sunny evening on Friday. Come here, see the space, <laughs> you'll see the light, you'll see friends. Peggy's telling me to say something. What? Saturday and Sunday. Saturday oh, and Friday is the opening. 
Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday from 12 to 5. The show will still be up. Even if some of the work is sold, we're going to keep it up so everyone can come and see. Great. Be here.